Alright everybody, welcome back to the bourbon bar. I missed the camera, but I'm holding this this thing behind me is Lauren and uh, we're wearing Christmas sweaters because it's Advent and this is day number four and I am going to pull the sample. Actually, Lauren, would you like to pull the sample out of Santa's head? Yeah. Reach in there and grab a sample. Oh my gosh. It's like magic. He's eating my hand. All right, and just like Zeus birthed Athena, Santa birthed a glass of whiskey out of his head. Out of his head? Yeah, Wait, so the way know. Athena was created, like the goddess Athena, she was born from Zeus's like brain, I believe. I didn't know that. That's what I believe. That's why she's a goddess of wisdom. Yep. They really thought everything. The more you know. <laughs> All right, we have a glass day advent calendar number four going into the glass right now. And you guys all know how this works. There are four questions. Is it a bourbon or a rye? Is it finished, yes or no? What is the proof? What is the price? And then I'll say what I would pay, and then I'll give you guys a bottle guess. And at the end of it, we'll count out the points. And if you guys aren't aware, we may be doing a giveaway at the end of this end of this advent calendar. So if I get zero to 24 points, I'm gonna be taking three shots of Malort in a row, just boom, 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 Malort faced. Then if I get from 25 to, to, from 25 to 49 points, I will be eating a handful of Red Hots and drinking some Jack Daniels Fire. That won't be pleasant, but if I get 50 to 74 points, guys, I will be doing a Christmas bourbon bar giveaway. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. It could be a special bourbon bar blend. It could be maybe a Christmas sweater. I, if, I don't know, I haven't made it up yet. I have to get there first. But if I get 75 to 96 points, guys, I'm gonna be doing a splurge bottle. A bottle that I've seen and passed up because it was just too much money. I'm just gonna break down, buy it, and review it for you guys. So that is what is gonna be my reward if I do that good. So in other words, I'm not getting any new bottles anytime soon, but we are on day number four, glass number four. Do you remember what you poured for this one? Yes, I do. She does. All right, well, that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get into the nose. Oh, this one. You like it? I like this one. Do you like this one? I mean, don't tell me because you always you, you give away if you tell me. But this smells fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> also, peep the Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans Glen Karen that I'm using on Advent Calendar Day Number Four. Oh boy. I don't know. You don't know. I think I know this one. I think I know this one. Okay, well this is confusing because the palette of this one has so much malt in it, like so much malt in it, yeah. that it could only possibly be one thing. But I remember the nose having a lot of malt in it too and I'm not smelling that much malt on the nose on this one. I mean, honestly, it's good. The nose is fantastic. The palette is super funky and like very distinctly funky. Like, tastes like pencil shavings. Tastes like a stout beer. If that's not a hint, then I don't know what is. Um, this one is interesting, but I do have some answers right away that I can write down. Whoa. Lauren hasn't even been drinking. It's only been me. Hey, I just noticed that. Um, so there are some actual notes that I'll give you guys so you guys aren't just here watching. Um, the nose actually has like a lot of vanilla and butterscotch in it. Uh, it smells really, like the, the nose alone is really good. If I, the nose and the palate of this one is what's confusing me. The nose is good, a lot of like vanilla and butterscotch. But also like just a little bit, I can get that, that maltiness just a little bit on the nose here. Um, that I think I'm getting in the palette, and I don't know what other way to describe it besides the fact that it tastes kind of like a bottle that I have that's super malty. Um, but on the nose, it doesn't really come across as much. It almost kind of has like this like bready aspect in there as well, not super like high bready the way I get in like a lot of weeded bourbons, but it does definitely has one in there. You know, I thought it was a bourbon at first. Now I'm second guessing myself. 
It does have some rye qualities, but I can't tell if that's because it's malty or if it's because it's, you know, if it's my malted rye. I, um, so the bottles that I'm thinking of right now are between malted rye and Dragon's Milk Origin. It doesn't smell like Dragon's Milk Origin, but it has like a really malty characteristic on the palate. And I'm trying to think of the malty whiskeys that I have, and those are the two that I have. And I, I don't know, I, it's up in the air for me. The nose is phenomenal, though. All right, everybody, so the answers are in. I have them locked in. Um, this was a difficult one. I, I'm i not too sure how this one's gonna play out. I may be embarrassed yet again, but I did say that it was a rye instead of a bourbon this time, which is uh, first so far on the, no, actually, no, I said number one was a rye, but number one was obviously bad. Um, so I said that this one was a rye. I said that it was not finished. I said the proof was 100, and I said that the price was $65. I said that I would pay $65, and then I guessed that it was New Riff Malted Rye, but the correct answer was... And we're ready. Make sure you only pull off one. I know, I gotta grab it. Ready. It's a patient. Oh gosh, that makes so much sense. So much sense. All right, everybody. So the correct answer was Red Road Empire Grizzly Beast. Honestly, I, underst I, I understand. So this is actually a four grain bourbon. Um, so it is. it does have a weeded mash bill. The characteristics of this bottle in particular are very like fruit zesty and like um, obviously that like butterscotch note very much apparent on this one, I believe. Butterscotch is like one of the main notes in this bottle um, from what they said, but like also like it is funky Like it has that weeded. Did I say it had like a bready aspect on yeah. the nose? Yeah, coming from obviously the wheat, but it's not super high the mash bill of this one is 69% corn 22% rye 5% barley and 4% wheat so obviously it does have wheat in the mash bill probably what that bready aspect is coming from I don't know what that that was on that palette that I was getting that made it taste like maltiness. Like, I, I it was interesting to me, but that being said, um, I said that it was a rye, it is not. I said that it was not finished, I got a point for that. I said that the proof was 100, and it is 100, this is bottled in bond, so I get a point for that. And I said the price was 65, but I think I paid 80, but we are going off of MSRP prices for these. So the price for this bottle is actually $70, but I get 65, so that means that I do get the point for the price. Um, I said that it was New Riff Malted Rye, it's clearly not, and I said that it was, that I would pay $65, so, interesting. Yeah, I mean, it, it smells fantastic, I'm not gonna lie, the nose, better than the palate on this one. And I've heard that this year's batch is actually better, this is batch one, but I heard batch two is actually better than batch one. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this one, so guys, I am now sitting at... A few. I'm now sitting at 11 points, so I'm almost out of the range of having to drink three shots of Malort. Thank God for that. That being said, that's the end of the video. So guys, please hit the like button if you liked it. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Only you guys can help me do that. But also, I have a Patreon. Um, in case you guys aren't aware, the link is in the description for my Patreon. You can either be a $2 or a $5 tier member. That'll be the first place that you guys get to buy anything that I have bourbon bar related um, when that time comes. But also, that's where I post my exclusive content. I do a lot of after the episode reviews, but what I'm gonna be doing for the advent calendar is posting all of the bloopers on there. And trust me, this is day four. We already have a crap ton of bloopers in there. So, you know, it's gonna be a really entertaining video. I hope you guys are gonna be able to see it by being Patreon members. So, that being said, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you all in the next class. Merry Christmas. Cheers.